This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross start your eyes. We got Erica Ramirez is here with the senior editor of Billboard. Hello. How you doing, Erica? I'm good. How are you guys? Great, great. You think Chingy's cute or? Uh, I, mean, I haven't seen a recent photo. I haven't seen that recent photo. So. Okay, so I'm going to show you Erica. But show, yeah. He was a little good looking back then. Back then, right? He was. D does that determine being a journalist? Like if a guy looks extremely like attractive to you, could that sway how you write about him? Oh, uh, no. Doesn't matter? Oh, uh, no. No? Oh, I probably never would have made it then. I would have <laughs> took payola. Could have never been a judge. <laughs> if you cute. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Blurred right. lines. Uh, Tracy, Erica's our guest today. Would you do the yeah. honors? Yes. Well, I've known Erica professionally and personally for like six oh years now. Gosh. Something like that. Yeah. Something that makes me feel rather wrinkly. Um, was... And it started off when I was interning at Vibe. And I met her there. She was the assistant photo editor. I was, yes. Then moved over to photo editor, and yes. I kind of would side-eye side her a bit because I was hating on her kicks. They're mad yeah, ill. I remember that. But then eventually we became friends, and we started working together over at um, Honey Magazine. Uh -huh. Then we were both freelancing, and then she ended up at Billboard. By the way, she accidentally spilled what? soup on those kicks that she's talking Did about. Did she really? She was <laughs> a quote, hater. Unquote, accidentally spilled. She was it was an accident. <laughs> Tracy was Don't be trying to throw shade this early. <laughs> Tracy was born a hater. <laughs> born this way. <laughs> Don't believe the lies. Journalists lies too. Now you're uh, doing. You at Billboard. What are you doing at Billboard now? Um, I spearhead the R&B and hip hop column, The Juice. The Juice. Yeah, so, that is my baby. Oh, that's your baby. So you know, Tank just released a new song. Um, uh, TMT. You know, you got a. We had Joe up here last week. A lot of the legendary R&B artists. Yes. Or you know, throwing that throwing the ball back on the court. I'm just smiling because you said TMT T what is TGT. T -T -T -T. Yeah, okay. T G T, my bad. I'm so, I'll just smile. Genuine, <laughs> forgive me. Yeah. Um Do these guys in this new landscape of R and B, you know, with the weekends, you know, Trey songs, um, Frank Oceans, do these guys have a place today? Yes. yes. I mean it's also because they have history behind mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Do they much so. do they chart? No, they do chart. And I mean, we also have like many charts. So you're not only charting on one chart. Like you have like adult R&B, contemporary R&B. You have many charts to chart on. But yeah, they definitely are up on there. I think the, um, when their album came out, it was number one on R&B albums chart. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were Grammy nominated. Um, we had recently Jermaine Dupri came up to the station. Man, he had a lot to say about this uh, article that was in Billboard and right. other places as well um, that made it appear that Katy Perry's Dark Horse has been on the on the charts longer in weeks uh, than Mariah Carey's mm -hmm. We Belong Together actually right. broke a record. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pop right. charts. Pop charts. Yes. I want to talk to you about that up next, all right? Okay. All right, Sway in the Morning, Shade 4-5. All right, Sway in the Morning, nine minutes into the hour. Tracy G, we got a very special guest with a special edition of Celebrity Wire. Oh, yes, we do. This is Erica Ramirez, who is the senior editor over at Billboard Magazine. Hey you there. And Erica, you got a lot of work under your belt. She's also yes. worked with us over at Rafix at MTV. Heather B, did you nice. know that about her? I did not know. Yeah, we only hire the best. Only hire the best. <laughs> um, who are you excited about musically right now? Um, I'm excited for what's about to come out. I, need, I want some Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean. I need some Frank Ocean. Heard Frank he's, Ocean. he's in the studio. Um, I heard Rihanna's working on an album. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to hear what that's about. So I'm really excited about that Kanye's album, supposedly mm -hmm. Summer. Mm -hmm. Want to hear? I hear it's a little bit more happy. A little happier more happier than Jesus. Because so. he's happy. Yeah. Yeah. About Which to be sense. married. Yeah. yeah. Right. He's got a baby and everything. Um. Uh, true. He does a very beautiful baby. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um. Jay Z is working on the album too. I hear. Is he? Yeah. That's okay. what I. You don't have no insight on no, that. No, I don't. Okay. You just I gave her an exclusive. Did. Okay. So cool. Guess. What is the possibilities? Because, you know, we, we haven't seen a successful Best of Both Worlds project happen. You know, we saw, uh, you know, R. Kelly and, and Jay-Z make that attempt. Now, mm -hmm. there's kind of been rumored, you know, that uh, T-Pain and Lil Wayne were going to do something right, at right, one point. That. And then, you know, it was, uh, you know, uh, who else? Uh, T.I. and B.O.B. B., were going to yeah. do something. And is there a chance that Rihanna and Drake could do a Best of Both World, Worlds album? What do you think? Uh, that would be very interesting. I, I wouldn't be mad at that. Yeah. I mean, what actual, like, couple has, has done that? I can't, you know, Beyonce and Jay hasn't even done yeah, the whole no. album like that, right? Mm -mm. I, mm -mm. They'd be one step ahead of them. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Uh, Erica Ramirez is here.
Uh, there was recently an article that came out on Billboard that talked about uh, songs that have spent the most time on the pop charts at number one. Uh, Dark Horse by Katy Perry uh, pretty much uh, surpassed Mariah Carey's We Belong Together, uh, 46 weeks on the chart. Right. And, you know, some people, you felt like the way that was covered, you know, as right. if Mariah was being dethroned, um, was it the right approach to this? Jermaine Dupri came to the show recently, mm -hmm. and this is what he had to say. So. I mean, I think it's really, really, you know, I'm, it's fucked up the way people actually do this because yeah. it's like, it started with Michael Jackson, right? It's yeah. like, um, you can't dethrone Michael Jackson. He's an artist that transcends every chart in that Billboard magazine. The yeah. magazine, it's a magazine, by the way. Let's make sure everybody understands this. Mm -hmm. It's a full magazine mm -hmm. with multiple charts, right? Yeah. When an artist comes and they win on one of those charts, then you've done one thing that one of these artists that do all of these things have done. That's what it should say. It should say mm -hmm. Katy Perry has done one thing that, the you know, I don't want to sound crazy, but the great Mariah Carey has been able to do. That's an interesting point. He feels like uh, we dismiss the history and the legacy of some of these artists that have been like in the fabric of our lives for generations who have transcended generations with these charts. Uh, that, I already know that's not was that that wasn't the intent, right? No, I mean I know that R said that Katy Perry sets a, a record on yeah. the pop charts. I know that was our headline, and then um, you know it wasn't even commentary in the story. We just said you know she surpassed these people. We listed the people. Um, I think it's the the word of choice that other maybe other articles use mm -hmm. that dethroning. Yeah, it's you know it doesn't really give a good. That's good harsh. To it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you agree so with I, that? No, then. I totally understand with that with that. Word of choice. I know that our that wasn't our intent. Our was just to let you know that Katy Perry broke a record. There was the numbers, on, right? On the pop charts specifically, also, yeah. And I, I'm trying to think back then when Mariah first came out. What it, did Billboard even have the pop chart back then? I don't. You know, we got yeah, a recent. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I think that clearly we've all we've you know created other charts. You yeah. know, more social more social um, charts lately. But I mean, I don't doubt that she's been on R&B charts that Katy Perry hasn't. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I mean. Not necessarily a balance, but they both shine in their own way. Okay, Erica mm -hmm. Ramirez is here from Billboard magazine. Yeah, have you um have you done this sort of thing on other morning shows? Mm, no, actually. Uh, yeah, so maybe you should do your favorite morning show to come and visit. Type chart on Billboard. Yeah, yeah. You think so? Yeah, listen, I'm I think, not mad at that. You're not mad at that? I, I, can, I can make something special for this. There yeah. you go, Erica Ramirez. <laughs> She's a citizen. This way in the morning. Let's get it to that celebrity wire. Time for you guys. Yes. Tracy G, what you got? Ooh, this is a good one. So Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin, the secrets behind the demise of their marriage are spilling out. We know that a couple weeks back, Gwyneth, she put out a statement. Well, it was a joint statement saying that they had consciously uncoupled, whatever the hell that <laughs> means, but AKA their 10 year relationship was was bye-bye, gone. And then now they've been seen vacationing with their children, so it's kind of weird that they have a friendly split, but this is where things get a little crazy with all these rumors that are coming from page six that's out of the New York Post, saying that Chris Martin not only had an affair with actress Kate Hudson, but was also banging out this chick who worked backstage at Saturday Night Live. Oh, an assistant. But there's also rumors that both of them were in an open relationship, Chris Martin and um, Gwyneth Powell but then that went sour. They weren't able to balance it with a normal life. And you remember that Gwyneth, she was really adamant about not having um, Vanity Fair do a story on her. Yeah. It was months and months and months that she was going to the editor-in-chief, grading uh, Carter, to make sure that didn't come out. So it looks like maybe all of those affairs had a lot to do with it. You know, I it. couldn't be in an open relationship because... Every time she said she was going to the grocery store, <laughs> 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 right? I would think that she out somewhere, you know, Banging but if, out somebody, but right? But if it's open, don't you just tell? It's just like, yo, I'm going to do my thing. I'll yeah, be back. Yeah, mm -mm. It don't work that way, Heather B. doesn't well, work that open? way. What does that mean, then, if we have an open relationship? Hypothetically. Yeah. I think it has to be an out of sight, out of mind type thing. Because your ego is not going to be able to handle it when it's right in front of your lens. Yeah, that jealousy is going to creep in. It's going to yeah. creep in. Very Erica, you, 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 you ever been in an open relationship? I have not. I can't do that. You I can't can. do that, right? No. She's emo. I, yeah, I'm too emotional for that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. What's the purpose of calling it open, then? If you can't handle it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you would, you should know if that's what it is. Trial and error, though. Trial and error? Yeah. All right, what else you got? 
Okay, so fans were shocked to learn that the game, he's currently under investigation um, for a recent domestic violence incident with his ex fiance. Her name is Tiffany Cambridge. It's being said that he beat her in the face during an argument. Mm. So he recently went on Instagram. A lot of folks are going on there to clear the air about stuff. And he went on there, put a post saying that um, you're allowed to terminate toxic toxic relationships. And then um, his caption was, I don't want to I don't want to give fuel to these false allegations allegations but the truth will definitely come out i'm always looking out for my children's safety and then he went on to say that he never laid a hand on tiffany i believe him i do too yeah. but it's like weird you don't want to say that so quickly when there's a woman coming out saying that yeah. you know what i mean if, if it's not true then i'll then i'll stand corrected innocent till proven guilty yeah mm-hmm. um, right. touchy you subject take, I believe nobody would care if they weren't on a reality show promoting their relationship. So you think you feel like this is just a ploy? I just want, like, it's all jinx. Like, when people get on reality shows about their relationships, then a year later we hear hearing stuff like this. Just keep your personal business off TV. Erica Ramirez from Billboard magazine. Would you do a reality show about your relationship? No, I'd I'd probably be too boring for... I'm a little too boring for reality. You, you're so. boring. I don't. Yeah, I don't get that from you. I get excitement. Uh, oh, well, that's good. Yeah. But no, no. Tracy knows. I'm way too emo. Way too. Uh, yeah. yeah. But emo. I'd like to keep that. She's a millennial, huh? She is. Okay, I get it. Emo. All right. Go ahead. What else you got, <laughs> yeah, Tracy? They, they, they're so introspective, mm-hmm. right? And sensitive. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's cast- why she's at Frank Ocean. That's why she's a Frank Ocean fan. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I'm Actually, waiting on Frank I Ocean. I didn't even put that together. But yeah. 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 Sway's good at making connections. So let's see if you can get make this connection, Sway, because Pastor Mace yeah. is taking part in an unholy matrimony. Uh-huh. He already had people in his church that are upset with him who feel like he's a hypocrite because of some of his lyrics, because he's still rapping. And now there's another side to this story where um, he was saying that he's on and off with his wife yeah. and that they were just recently separated, but it's coming out that they've been separated for two years. And what makes it crazy is that they've been peddling these re- these marriage books, mm-hmm. basically giving advice on how you can stay together. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're happy having this schism in their marriage. So people feel like they, um, well, they're people feel like Mace, exactly has been leading a double life. Leading a double life. How often do you read about this? People who lead double lives. Mm. Uh, and we've had people who have called who are in, a, you know, doing it right now, leading a double life. You say Mace and his wife, separated wife are leading a double life. If you are living a double life or you know someone who is, you can relate to this story. 888-742-3345. We want to hear about it. Tracy G, we're talking double lives. Yeah. And in particular, Mace, a lot of people feel like he listens to the devil on his shoulder more than he listens to the angel. And it's because he was peddling these marriage advice books. Meanwhile, he's secretly filing for divorce from his wife and they've been separated for two years. Erica Ramirez from Billboard magazine is here. And we we, we asked her about that, you know, leading a double life a little. Have you ever done that? Like portrayed yourself one way (laughs) to a guy, maybe you date guys or girls? What do you date? I date guys. Guys. Okay, so you, you never like dated more than one guy at the same time? No, I mean you. We go out on dates with like on, you know, with other one or two other guys, but never. Well, I was in a relationship with two guys at the same time. No. But but did the other guy know that you still dated other guys? Yeah, the guy knows that I'm dating. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, she's yeah, yeah. she's good. I can't even. I know. Her, right? <laughs> she communicates. Yeah, she exactly. communicates well, right? You like this, Heather? I like that. <laughs> clean girl in this day and age, a clean millennial with morals and values. <laughs> <laughs> That's rare. And a Just job like and money. Not you, Tracy. She got money. <laughs> <laughs> She's a journalist. Yeah, yeah you know, Lene yeah, is so on the line. Yeah, Lene, good morning. How you doing? Girl, what's up, Al? What's up, Heather? What up, girl? Hey. Hey, hey. Oh, so, Yeah. Like, turn okay, the music this down. is my story. I'm a preacher's kid, right? Uh-huh. So, um, uh, one of my mom's preacher's friends was in a church. He had a mistress. Mm. Why the preacher's wife and the preacher's um, mistress got in a fight in the church at Lions because he wouldn't leave his wife because she's thinking that she want to be with him too. Like, I'm like, really? We in church? We are in church. Damn, then they, they, were fight, they were fighting in church during a sermon. In church. I'm talking about they was going hard. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. And I was just watching on BET. It's a great show, uh, yes. Celebration. Um, the Gospel Celebration. The Gospel Celebration yeah. was, oh, my God. And Charlie Wilson killed it. And, right. you know, I was looking at all the church-going folks, and and mm. I was thinking sometimes the most scandalous people are the people in the church. It's mm. true, man. And I hear that He's first. 
<laughs> they said she told you to preach on it. Yeah. I hear like that first lady thing is big, like Michelle Obama. Like they take it seriously in these churches to be the first lady. So they fighting women off all the time. Hey, so yeah, oh, look, they, is that true, Lynette? Yes, they do. Like I'm a preacher's kid, so I see this all the time. Like the preachers, the preacher's wife, they get special privileges. Like they get cars, like decorate. People come in, decorate their houses. I mean, it's all for free. So that's a big thing. You want to be a preacher's wife? Yeah. Because you, I mean, you don't work or nothing. You're the preacher's wife. I mean, Yo, that's did, what your job title did, is. Did, Everybody wants to be there. Did you watch the show, The Preachers of L.A.? I did. I did. I, and that is a hot mess. And they going to hell. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lene, you're a citizen. That's why you're the morning. <laughs> Rita, Rita's in St. Louis. What do you think about this whole double life theory, Rita? Hey, how you guys doing this morning? Hey, Good morning. Good. I agree with what Lynette's saying. That's why I'm calling in. They're all using social media to actually have that second life. Mm. They're going in like they're single, and then they're going on dates with people like me that are single, but they're married. Yeah. So you'll never know that they're all married and they actually have kids and family. And if they are preachers, then it's frustrating, you, you know, because they're coming across as being single. Let, let me ask you women in here, Erica, you chime in, too. You know, a lot of times you can have a virtual relationship via text, Instagram, DM with another person. Do you do you feel like that's that's cheating? Yeah. 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 If you yeah. can't have a conversation, that same conversation around your significant other, then you're cheating. I don't care who it is. If you can't text and do stuff mm -hmm. and while your boo is sitting right there, then you have something else going on in the back of your head that's cheating to me. Yeah. Tracy. If you get caught. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> millennial. I, I you a millennial. Bit of thrill. You know, if I feel bad for Erica, she's so sensitive and emo. Like just, <laughs> the thought of it almost made her cry. Like I, he did. I, he I did. Know. I'm what? used to this. I've I've known this girl for too long to be surprised. Oh, oh damn! Yeah, okay, Tracy doesn't even surprise you. All right, we'll take more of your calls. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Uh, Erica Ramirez from Billboard magazine. What should people be look on the lookout for, and how can they read your work? Um, you go billboard dot com. Mm. Uh, my Twitter is three Rika three R I K A. Um, I post a lot of stuff on there. Is that is, is that you like that? That's kind of cute. Right? <laughs> Um, so what do we have coming up? We have the Billboard Music Awards coming up in May. So mm -hmm. that's what we're, we're working on right now. Very, okay. very hard. Um, and I just finished up a 31 and 31 days female rap package. So I interviewed 31 female rappers or someone close to them in March for Women's History Month. Wow. Did you uh, interview Lee Mason? I did not. Oh. And I did not interview this one. Have the beat. That was coming next. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. I've, I've been busy, Erica. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, y'all better stop forgetting about have the beat. Huh? I say you definitely came up in conversations with like light and everyone. Yo yo, yeah. All oh, clocks no, down, yo. Don't do that. Sway. Yo, pull out up, wonder. Sometimes I think they forget, man. It's all good. Sway. Let's have the beat right here, ladies yeah. and gents. Okay, uh, Erica Ramirez. People want to. Oh, three Eric, three Rica. Three Rica. Yeah, three Rica. That's how they meet. That's how they can meet you. All right. Thank yeah. you for coming up. Oh, I appreciate uh, it. <clears throat> Thank you guys. It's Sway in the morning only on Shade Forty Five.